PregameStop.com. It's winner go home for the Houston Rockets on ESPN Thursday night. This is Brad Powers in the Pregame.com studios just off the Vegas Strip. We're talking Western Conference semifinals, game number six, San Antonio at Houston. It seems every NBA playoff game goes over. Who do you got? So, of course, I'm going to go under in this game. And let's talk about why I like under 214 between San Antonio and Houston. It's basically because it's a closeout game. What do I mean by a closeout game? Anytime a team can close out this series. In my opinion, it brings added pressure to the teams. And on average, closeout games, much lower scoring than the rest of the series. In fact, even in this year where the over continues to cash in what seems like every single NBA playoff game, average line for a non-closeout game, 212. Average total score for those non-closeout games, 214. But when you get to the closeout game, this is where you see a much lower scoring game. Average line, it gets priced in the market, just 206. Average score, just 203. So we're dealing 11 points per game less than the rest of the series as far as the average scoring goes. But this line is an 11 points lower than what we've seen in this series. Only about one point, and I think that's why the line's not being properly priced and the closeout situation bringing more pressure. Gives us value on the under, under 214 to pick. Now, Game 5 was not a closeout game, but it was vitally important. And I think we really saw fourth quarter and overtime, the collars getting tight on these players. <laughs> yeah, we did. In fact, in the fourth quarter and overtime, we saw a combined total score of 46 points by both teams. So that was, you mentioned that, a very important game. You want to take the 3-2 series lead. And with that added pressure, we're going to see even more pressure here, at least with regards to Houston not wanting to go home. Some key injuries here in the series. Of course, Tony Parker, San Antonio is out. Kawhi Leonard is injured. He's likely to give it a go and certainly play with the bad ankle. And then power forward for Houston, Nene is done for the year. How would that impact your handicap? Well, now we got teams with shorter rotations, and now you're game six of a series. So you got team guys that have been used to been playing with one another. They're, those legs are getting tired. That outside jump shot's not hitting. And we saw, hey, when Leonard, San Antonio doesn't have a lot of scoring options with Leonard out of the lineup. He might be less than 100% here. We saw game five, him out of the lineup, fourth quarter overtime. San Antonio couldn't buy a bucket. Some numbers to back up your under here. I went ahead and queried the past week. What's the average total been in the NBA? 214 points. Just one year ago, I took a look for the same time period, early in May. What was the average total? 199.7, a 15-point adjustment enormous. It is, and some of it has to do with these teams being overly reliant on the three-point outside shot. That's becoming the trend in the NBA, and let's face it, if a team gets hot from behind the arc and you're trading those three for twos, it doesn't matter what the other team's going to do. That total is going to go over. In my opinion, because of the tired legs in this game, I think that outside shot, particularly for Houston, is not going to fall. Your second key handicap. Well, I mean, let's talk again about game five. Misleading over ticket cash for those public for guys like me that have been wanting to bet the under in this series. Not great luck in that regard. And if you watch that game, dead nut under game if you watch the fourth quarter. But what happens? Game goes to overtime. We get 15 additional points. And the over doesn't cash until the final minute of overtime by a single bucket. In my opinion, that creates some value here. Yeah, and the public doesn't care that it was a wrong side winner. They just know they're going to the window and cashing another winner. Overs now in these playoffs. 35 wins, 25 losses. The public is going to keep betting the overs. That's going to keep pushing the marketplace higher, giving us value on the under probably. Yeah, no question. And you know, sooner or later, you've been in this business much longer than me, Fez. The public's going to get it handed to them. And uh, finally, another point here. Houston, game four, game five, hit 19 threes in game four, 16 threes in game five. They've been watching them throughout the playoffs. They haven't been that great from behind the arc. In fact, seven of their eight playoff games, they've actually hit 11 or less from behind the arc. And I think that'll be the case here. And Houston is a overall lower scoring team in their home games than their road games. I like this one. Let's make it official. Yeah, let's make this one official. We're taking San Antonio and Houston under the total. And in my opinion, this totals line is not being properly priced in the marketplace. Closeout games tend to be much lower scoring than the rest of the series. In fact, even in this year, the closeout games averaging 11 points per game less. Plus, when you add in the fact we have a misleading over cashing in game number five, 15 points in overtime caused that to go over the total by a bucket. Create some value here if you're an anti-public guy like myself. Add it all up. Game number six, Houston and San Antonio under 214. We'll have more videos at pregame.com.